don't want them to go too far. Why do we got a flag? Is that good? It was pretty wide. Jason and Pete, Hollis Farms this morning. Tell y'all a little bit about what's going on this morning. The guy that, that handles all our timber stuff, me and him will have a meeting about once a week. Kind of ride around and check, make sure everything's going right. Talk about what we're going to be doing in the next week or so, future, just planning and making sure everything kind of stays on schedule and his main concern is make sure everything's going like what we wanted. So that's what we was doing to start with. Uh, was riding around down here in Alabama. And now we are loaded up, headed over to Mississippi to kind of check on things over there and looking at what we're going to be doing in the near future. So we are headed to Mississippi. All right, so I stopped at the store. And that store there now, they roll early. It's about 8 o'clock. And by that time in the morning, they are just about out of breakfast stuff. Is that a sausage? Still had a few biscuits and had one piece of steak left. I ain't never had their steak biscuit, but that thing is pretty good. I think next time I stop there, I'm gonna get them to melt me a piece of cheese on top of that steak biscuit. We'll think we had hardies. Well, they are growing some corn down this highway. Ain't to be. A lot of corn. got beans on this side. I mean, they are they pumping some corn out on them. There ain't no hogs right here in this part of the country, but if it was, they would be some fat hogs. flagman. I see a sign. Got some more corn out on this side of the road. I bet there's some fat raccoons. They might not have hogs, but there's some fat raccoons down through here. Buffer. Well, the outlaws. Pinned over. Push it. That's 3,000 pounds. Oh. <laughs> Tell you what. All right, y'all. So, what I've been doing most of the morning, um, once a week, the guy that handles our timber stuff wants to have a meeting. He's always got people down there with each logging crew. And also, I see him. I see him every day. But once a week, he wants to sit down, or not sit down, but ride around, and me and him go over everything that's going on, just to make sure everybody's on the same page of what we're doing and what we're gonna be doing next, just to kind of keep things rolling. Like I said, we got a lot going on this summer, and it's gonna take everything to go go pretty much right to get it all done before deer season and we just kind of keep everybody on the same page that way it ain't no problems and very good to work with been, my dad's been working with him for years and i mean i've been knowing him since i was seven eight years old so pretty good relationship and just kind of going over to everything and even talking about future burning uh future thinnings and cutting and everything so just kind of keep everything on the same page it's uh it's a lot to do and to do it like we like to do you kind of have to keep up with it i mean it's just not a one day sit down talk about get it done thing it's a it's an ongoing process to keep it like we want it and he is super to deal with but so we got our weekly meeting out of the way went ahead and hooked up to the feeder filler man this the feeder filler holds about three thousand pounds that's the first time i've ever 
open the silo up to let corn out of it. I bet it took, I know less than a minute. I'd like to time it. I bet it dropped 3,000 pounds in there in about 30 or 40 seconds. I mean, this is gonna be unreal. I'm carrying this load back to Alabama with me to fill some of the feeders up there. I still use quite a bit of sack feed there in the enclosure. But as far as filling the uh, spin feeders and all up, I want to use this. It's plenty dry enough to use it now, so we're going to utilize it. I'll probably end up hooking it to the tractor as dry as it is. It's just the ranger will do it. But I tell you, down here in Alabama, it's a pretty good hill, so it'd be smart to hook it up to the little 5065. And that's going to be interesting. That's something we hadn't done yet, so that'll be a, another variety, different video. But anyway, won't be able to go too fast. I want to take care of it. We're just going to ease on back towards Alabama. Hey, we'll check on the loggers there and see what kind of process. And they're starting to something a little different that I hadn't told y'all I was doing yet. Uh, we looked at a little bit of it before we left, but they ha should have a little bit more done when we get back. And uh, pretty interesting what we're doing there with the logging crew. So when we get back sometime this evening, we'll take a look at that and show y'all that. All right, we're going to ease on back. All right, y'all, so we made it back to Alabama. and run down here and check on the loggers real quick. All right, so here's one thing we're working on. Here's the fence right here. Everywhere that we can, we're going to work on a buffer all the way around the fence so we don't have to worry about these storms no more. Every time we have wind, trees blowing on the fence. We're going to do everything that we can on the inside and everything that we can on the outside to make a buffer some spots we're going to be able to get to and uh some spots we're not going to be able to get to and uh, i've got to figure out how i want to do this on the inside and outside i want to utilize it for something whether it be clover or spray it and just have a briar thicket I'm just going to have to work with that as we go but try not to battle these storms so bad so kind of gonna look rough for a little while but i think we can shape it up we can turn it into even better than it was with some briars and possibly on the flat spots be clover and stuff so we're just gonna work with it i think it's gonna work out pretty good some of these spots is right here along this creek we won't be able to do, but we're gonna do as much to cut down these trees falling on this fence as much as possible. I'm gonna open up a little daylight. Looks like they've moved back down in here in this bottom. Start getting some of these out of the way. Trying to work as much as they can at this loading area they at right now before they had to move. Pete's got the John Deere 5065 loaded up on the back of the 16 Dodge. Got a little bush hogging job we got to run do real quick. Shouldn't take us but an hour or so. Been needing to do it for a while and just hadn't got it done. We're going to try to get it done right now.
little bush hogging job, tall, head high, grass cutting job done. Now we headed back to the farm. All right, y'all. Me and Pete made it back to Alabama. Couldn't go. Not sure if the logs are still here. I think they are. Getting pretty late. Go see what kind of progress they made. stuff not down in the bottom. Moving to set up down here again now. Big old trees over here. kind of how this strip is going to look along the fence fence right there give us some room if we have a storm we don't blow on the wire now we got to decide what we're going to do with this i'm thinking about a lot of it just spraying it and letting it grow up into a big old briar thicket one coming in to get loaded he right, wanting to ride fancy bareback here he goes If you want to go right, push on her with your left leg and lean that way. You know which way is left and right. You like your mama. You don't know. You got to think about it. All right, y'all. I'm just about to call it a day. Y'all like us now, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.